Hello. Hi Hello. Hi, how's it going? Hey. I'm, I'm good. How are you guys doing? I'm so good. Just Great. one second. I'm going to try to um, plug in my headphones. <laughs> I think I'm recording. How are you doing, Belle? I'm good. How are you doing, John? I'm great. Thank you. Thank this you. is so nice. fun. Nice. You got a little green screen set up back there. Yeah, thank you. That's awesome. Oh. Used it a couple of times. Oh. Don't worry how it's used. It's like I already filmed programs I'm trying to teach myself and uh, still have no idea what exactly I'm supposed to do. <laughs> Just keep doing it. Nobody does until it finally clicks. Trust me. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> hey, oh, Alex. Guys. Hey, how's it going, Bell? What's up, Alex? Hey, Alex. Hey, John. Hey, Kim. <laughs> I'm so oh, excited oh. to have you guys here today. It's really a great honor because this is probably the biggest interview I've ever done with all of you guys at once. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, yes. Nice. I, I like being like the first, you know? <laughs> so yeah, good. Sure. I always do individual interviews and to have three different people at once was mind blowing to find out that I'm going to be doing that. So um this is very my first time talking to all everyone at once. So oh, that's awesome. yeah, I'm excited. We're, we're, well, we're, well, to we're you... pretty uh we're pretty relaxed, we're chill. Yeah, we're here That'll to be help. Great. Yeah. We're here to help. And and to I'm and to pretty show too. <laughs> To put you at ease, Bell, I think this is uh, officially the first group interview we've done. So yeah. you are, you're the first. Oh you're the God. first. I'm honored. We're, we're going to send you a badge, a badge yeah. that says you're the first. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm completely also, awesome, honored. awesome t-shirt, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, expressions of Groot. I love that. I'm, I'm wearing my, uh, my Eidos. I just Montreal. Nice. Love that. Swag. She's rocking. I thought, I thought it was appropriate for uh, all today's the Marvel interview. merch I have, this is the only Guardians one I have. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Well, I, I got I, a whole bunch of questions. I'm really excited to get going. And uh, yes, sure. let's do it. About you guys and seeing how you guys were involved with the game. Um, so, how did you? Uh, become involved with the Guardians of the Galaxy video game. Who wants, Who wants to go, to go first? first? Ah, you go to <laughs> well, John, John, you're the leader. You're, you're, you're the I'll leader of the Guardians. So I'll, I'll go first. Sure, <laughs> sure. Put it on me. Um, no, I think um, how we got involved was was very similar to um, any other audition process. Really, it was kind of very similar to. How you auditioned for for film and TV? Uh, we got a uh, a casting notice from our agents saying um, we've been invited to audition for. Um, at that time, it was all code names, so there was it wasn't called Guardians at the time. And uh, yeah, we had, had no special, idea. Yeah, so we had a special code name, so we got invited to do it. And then um, normally you audition in person in a room, but. Uh, for me at the time, I was out of the city where they were holding auditions. So I put myself on uh, tape by myself. Uh, that's called a self tape and auditioned and, and luckily it went, it went my way. <laughs> they yeah, I had, right I had away. a similar, they, oh, go ahead. Dan. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was going to add to what John was saying is like, I, I heard that when they saw John's audition that they knew right away that, that, that he was Star Lord. That's, he really, he really nailed his tape. <laughs> he Thank did you. a fantastic job playing Star Wars. Yeah, I think it was that brilliant in the game, and you guys really narrowed the characters. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. I, I, uh, I interrupted. You were going to say something. Oh no, I was going to say just, just kind of go off of what John was saying. It's you know, it is very similar. There's kind of a mystique that says that you know, video games are are different but i think that's one of the things about the game is they wanted to get you know actors who also have done film we've all done film and it's a very similar process that you would see to, to anything else you know they want to see if you yeah. can if you can pull it off you put yourself on camera and then uh, and kind of what john's saying and you know you have no idea usually at the beginning of these things because there's it's so top secret right and, and you find out as you get in get involved and stuff so so it's yeah. very cool. I'm, I'm sure yeah. speak, speak for all of us. It's cool when you actually realize what it is that you're involved in. 
down the yeah. line too. Yeah. Yeah. And something guys, like Guardians, where it's they're casting a group of mis misfits. Like, so yeah. there was five of us. There was it wasn't just like they really had to consider the the group and also the the chemistry. So yeah. I remember when I brought when when I was brought in, <clears throat> we did a table read, and I was just like, Ooh. everyone was cast, and I it was just a matter of like, do I fit in the group and. Uh, it was electrifying. <laughs> I like. Oh, think. Kim, you you killed it. Kim was Kim was the last person to get uh, of the five of us to get cast. Um, so when we did that tailory with her. It was it was amazing, Kim? You killed it. Yeah, we knew we I knew still right had no away. Yeah, I had no idea. And then Daryl, our our uh, cinematic director, was like, "You're in." And I was like, <laughs> yeah. "Okay, I'm in." Oh, fun. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, you were and, definitely amazing in the role, and I have to say, um, I don't even, uh, when I play this game, like playing it over and over again now, and um, I we watch your gameplay and the cutscenes, I'm like, you guys really are the characters. I can't even tell if I'm watching the movie or playing the game, because you guys Thank are so you. intimidating with your characters. Thank you. We're, we're Thank not you. intimidating in real life, though. No. <laughs> I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> it's too nice right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Alex, this isn't your first video game role. You got to be a part of Assassin's Creed and Far mm -hmm. Cry. And uh, you, John, you also got to work as Far Cry as well. And Kimberly, yep. I believe this is your very first game uh, role. Um, yes. For all of you, um, what was it like to transition to film and TV to a video game? Mm. Well, can I, can I uh, go first, yeah, go first. Guys? Yeah. We're so polite. This is so Canadian of us. Um, <laughs> well, I like to describe uh, working on a like full performance capture, which is what we did. We didn't just do the voices. We we prepped the way we would uh, a film or a TV or theater. Really, it's like we're off book. We show up. Uh, we're in our little outfits, and um, so it's they are capturing the physical data the facial data and our voices. So it's, it's called full perfor performance capture. And so for me, like the way I like to describe it is like, it's like theater, if theater and film had a baby. So there's like a physical freedom from theater that you can bring, but then the sort of nuance and emotional like little specific things that you can bring that you can, you know, from, from film or TV, uh, the subtleties. So for me, it was uh, kind of like the best of both worlds, right? I took two of my passions, my background in theater and then my, my 13 plus years in, in film and TV and I sort of merged those. And it's just a matter of committing to the circumstances, because obviously you're in a unit without any anything, and you rely heavily on your imagination. But if you commit to what's happening, you're good. You're golden. Absolutely, I, I, I like to think of it as like. I, sorry about that. Um, I can't imagine what how different it is between a film set and a game set. You're all in motion capture suits and just uh lending lending your voice. So to try to imagine what those sets are like. Um, is it easy to transition to or is it hard to work on compared to film and TV? Um, it, I, I think Kim, Kim was really on the nose on that. Like, you know, when you're, on, when you're on a TV and film set, you have props, you have a set, you have, you have a lot of things to use around you. Mm -hmm. and Kim, Kim is saying it really perfectly, imagination. I like to think of when you're on a, like a mocap set, it's kind of like being on a green screen, right? Like you got nothing around you and, you know, Daryl might come in and say, all right, guys, like how many times guys was Daryl? Like, guys, there's a huge spaceship going over you right now, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. And we all have to look up. We all have to imagine the in, spaceship. In the same spot. Yeah, in the so same sometimes spot. Sometimes we'd look up, but in different, it's like, no, 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 no. The monster's here. It's like, okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. exactly. <laughs> it, it, it's kind of like playing cops and robbers when you're a kid, I think, because when you're a kid, you know, when you're in the driveway, you're running around and you're totally immersed in your imagination. Yeah. I find, like Kim's saying, I think it's quite freeing, actually. Mm -hmm. I, I would say it's different, but it's 
if you commit to the imagination and you just say, look, I'm going to see that spaceship and I'm going to let my imagination take me away, it is quite freeing. It mm-hmm. gives you a lot more freedom to play in that respect yeah. because you're not, you know, you're not staring at something physical. You're not in a physical, you know, set or space. So you, you really do have to imagine everything and what was neat. And, and, and it wasn't all the time, but sometimes uh, they would have artwork done up for us to give us mm-hmm. kind of a, a loose visual of what it is that we were looking at or, you know, where things, um, what's a good they example? Also, like the, like the Milano. The storyboards. Yeah. The story yeah. Boards. Like that story storyboards or like the Milano is a good example. It's like, well, okay, we're in the cockpit, but where are all the seats? What, like, what's the yeah. spacing between them? And they would show us these visuals and, and on the note of like, um, you know, how does it, how does it differ or how do you prepare? I mean, for me, and maybe it's different for you guys, but I, I, Preparing the actual character itself to me is very similar work um, yeah. in, in how you create and, and prepare uh, Star-Lord Gamora, Rocket, Groot, Drax. It, it's very similar, but it's where I had to adjust was getting into the room. And unlike film and TV, there's no, there's no cutting between takes. Like there's no, there's no downtime where people are moving cameras yeah. around or switching lighting or quite frankly completely waiting until you're moving in an entire set yeah. you're just in an empty room <laughs> and so true. you just you just go like it, so, it's it's a lot like theater like that kim you could probably speak to this but like yeah it's just go 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 yeah. go so you really have to know your stuff and there's a a saying in the the film and tv industry that's uh, it's called hurry up and wait so it's like off the top of the day it's like hurry up through makeup hair costume and then you're ready to go and then you wait for six hours before they get to your scene but (laughs) when you're doing performance capture it's like it's you are on from the start of the day till the very end it is a workout and usually like they booked us for like a week or two and like by the end of the week we're like (gasps) oh you're exhausted best sleep i've ever (laughs) had in my life best sleep best sleep (laughs) Yeah. And also really rewarding and fulfilling work because mm. it, it definitely it feels like you've just, you know, you've run a marathon, you're exhausted, but you're so proud of yourself. That's, that's the feeling. Yeah. How long does it even take to do a scene from the game? I think it's really, <laughs> yeah, I think it's, I think it's really dependent on the scene, how big the scene is uh, in the case of the guardians, which is, different from a lot of uh, scripts or projects that I've worked on. There's so much branching dialogue. So there's different choices within a scene. So yeah. a uh, lot of characters. So there's yeah. like the five yeah. guardians plus all the supporting cast. And sometimes like you can't even fit that many people in the unit. Yeah. So it's like, we would have to break down the scene. So we would do like four of us and then another four. And then they would cut that yeah. together. Yeah. yeah, it's one of the beauties of video games, but also one of the hindrances, you know, they can shoot it separately, like Kim's describing and put you all together in post because it's all digital. But at the same time, it's a, it's a restriction a little bit and it make, you have to use your imagination in that circumstance. Yeah, and yeah. also like, when will Alex ever get to play a raccoon ever yeah. again? 100%. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's, it's so like, true. Tomorrow. there's a... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, I, it, I it, love the, what you said about using your imagination when it comes to filming video games. I, I, I totally get that it's a completely different set than what you're used to. Um, like, uh, I, I use my imagination all the time too. So, <laughs> but uh, to be able to visualize what you're trying to work on it, um, and seeing how it turns out in the end, it's definitely a really good way to, to go. Uh, mm. The imagination is definitely powerful. <laughs> Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Now, before you um, got to uh, work on the game, were you Marvel fans to begin with? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Totally. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Who isn't? (laughs) Yeah. I mean, I I grew up, I grew up watching uh, like Spider-Man. One of my favorite TV shows growing up when I was a kid was the uh, X-Men animated series. Oh, that was so Um, good. yeah, Yeah, I think they're bringing it back, I think. 
Yeah, which is X Men ninety seven. I'm, I'm yeah. gonna go watch it now. I'll, I'll see you guys now. Okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so yeah, and then I mean, obviously, uh, obviously the MCU has been around for twenty some yeah. years, so it's it's stuff that we've all followed. At least I've I followed it very closely, and I grew up with it. So yeah, absolutely. I uh, obviously a fan of Marvel. Always watch the movies, and and then when uh, COVID hit, I actually did the whole the whole MCU in order. Yes. Oh yeah. So that nice. was that was amazing. <laughs> now did I you do did it? Did you do it? Too. Um I did the same thing for the X-Men movies when the 20th okay. they came out. Yeah. And nice. That's awesome. You know what? I got to watch them all again no matter yeah. what. Oh, They're yeah. great movies. They really oh, are. Yeah. I I've been a fan of Marvel since I was like 5 years old. Um I actually am on the autism spectrum, so having these movies and the superheroes in my life has definitely really impacted me in a really mm. good way, and, and they inspire me every day. And it, uh, Well, they- you inspire me, <laughs> because you have your own YouTube channel, and that's, that's no small yeah. feat, no, I'm just not. saying. I just started working on a podcast, and it's, it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work, so thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. It definitely hasn't been easy to get interviews lately, but I'm definitely happy to be able to talk to you guys. It's our I pleasure. Saw your, yeah. I saw your YouTube page. You, you've you interviewed some pretty pretty awesome people. Thank you. You're doing, you're doing well. You're doing awesome. Thank you so much. Very definitely welcome. Hope to get up there at some point and uh, hopefully be able to do some more once there's more availability. Uh, out yeah, no, for sure. That's this awesome. Last year, I was able to get a couple, but... Uh, not as much as I was hoping, but it's been a tough year for everyone. Absolutely. Oh, yes, Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so how exciting was it to become superheroes for the game? Oh, so cool. Man, so exciting. I, I was on the street in Montreal. I got a call from my agent, and I think I had an idea what this was. And I remember just jumping up in the street, like screaming and people thought, uh, I, I'm sure all of us actors have had moments like that where we book something and we're just like, we go crazy. But like, yeah, and people in the street were looking at me like that guy's nuts. So I don't know, yeah. I kind of embarrassed myself publicly, but I, was I got an so email happy. and I was just like, wait, wait, what, which part did I book? <laughs> like I, I still wasn't sure that it was Gamora. Like I, you know, after all, they never tell you anything. So I was like, wait, yeah. I just want to confirm. <laughs> Are you saying <laughs> that I got Gamora? And oh. it's like, yes. It's like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I think, I think my agent called me, and I literally, I don't think I did. I literally cried on the phone. Yeah. I was so, I was oh, so buddy. excited. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. I think I, I screamed like a big old like woo, and then I proceeded <laughs> to break cr- down crying because I just couldn't <laughs> handle the news. Jo- John's a softie uh, in, in, I, in the best way, yes. in the most beautiful, yeah, in, uh, in the most beautiful there. way. Yeah, if people were I'm wondering, the same way when I get emails regarding any kind of interview I land, mm. I, especially ones that I'm so excited about, like the ones uh, where I got the email from the company saying that I got you guys, and I was like really really excited like one of the biggest marvel fans so this is really something oh, oh awesome. well, in, you know bell that's something so i think that's so true it's so important because it's like you know you've been working really hard you've been working really hard to build this channel up and to get interviews and it's hard hard work to do this and when you when something good happens it it validates all that work that you've put in yeah. like for us it's yeah. like you know i'll speak for myself it's like working 10 years as an actor tr- grinding getting that way up and then and then getting something like this, it's like, okay, uh-huh. finally, I'm at a level yeah. where where someone trusts me and trusts us to carry something of this caliber really makes you feel good and makes you feel like all the work you put in. So, I, I mean, I think that's amazing that you feel that too. I think it's the same thing, you know? Yeah, it kind of gives well you said. that energy and that drive to just keep pushing through. Yeah, yeah. you know? 100%. Yeah. yeah, you really, what you're doing My is channel. really no different, Bell. It's really no different. Honestly, you're putting yourself out there. You're working hard on your YouTube channel. And I've, I've started, I have a small YouTube channel. I I started, I've watched hours and hours of YouTube videos, just trying to get everything set up properly. And it's a lot of work, Bell. And it's like, good for you. You, you are literally doing exactly 
what we are doing. What we're right? doing, yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. I definitely do all of that with my YouTube channel and not just that, but I'm also an artist myself. So I like to put that awesome. out there. That's awesome. Share. Awesome. I'm really good. I'm always been really good at doing that for obvious reasons. <laughs> but uh, just so what you guys just said to me, it really meant the world to me. And you just made my day. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. You got to tag that. us, tag us in some of that artwork. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I have one right here. I can show you. Yeah. Oh, throw yes. it up. Sure. Nice. oh yeah. Look at that. That's beautiful. Yeah. Holy moly. Wait. Wow. wow. Is that nice. is that Hogwarts? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, how Kim, do I, nice. Can it's I get beautiful. how do we get Harry Bell Potter on full screen of, here? What was that? I just want you on my full screen here. I have you weren't. He doesn't uh, want to see us anymore. He just wants to see you in the artwork. That's awesome. It's beautiful. Bell, say something so this goes full screen. I'm sorry, why? <laughs> I just need you to say something so Zoom switches you to full screen for me. You can hey, you can I'm pin high. her. Then. I can pin her. Oh, okay. Yeah, pin her. <laughs> how do I do that? Ah, uh, he doesn't know how to do. Oh, this. there we go. Here we ah. go. Holy sh. That's great. <laughs> wow, <laughs> Nikes. Yeah, I'll leave That's it really at that. Beautiful. Wow. Harry Potter. Are you a big Harry Potter fan? Return. I am a Harry Potter fan. Yeah. Nice. Okay, who isn't? I was so sad Fact. when I didn't get my acceptance letter when I was 11 years oh old. Gosh, I read the book at 10. Breaking. I didn't get it. I'm like, well, no, I'm a I'm wizard. I'm still waiting for it. It'll come, Kim. It'll come. Oh my God. I even waited on my 11th birthday and I'm still kind of waiting for it, but I'm kind of there when I'm watching the movies or reading the book. Yeah. yeah. I'm already there. That's true. Yeah, who's your, Harry, who's your favorite Harry Potter character? I want to say it's Harry, even though everyone says that, but my personal mm. favorite is Luna. Mm, <gasps> yeah. Luna. She's great. Yes. I, I love how much I can relate to her on a personal level. So that's love it. kind of why yeah. I um, touch me with that character. Nice. Lovely. I always like, I always like Snape for some reason. <laughs> oh my gosh. That, and the end story for Snape was definitely. Exactly. Uh, like, He's Beautiful. so dark the whole time, but he's he's got so much going on behind the scenes internally that nobody knows about until the end. It's incredible. I I love, we are character. nerding out right now. <laughs> Let's I mean, do the it. worst character in the franchise was not Voldemort, but uh, Umbridge. <laughs> oh, ah, um, yeah, so hateable. Yeah, she's <laughs> not relatable. Yeah. So bad. Oh, I'm definitely enjoying the conversation. <laughs> Um, but yeah, with my art, I, I can definitely do some work for you guys if you want. I can make your characters. Oh man! If know. you do, please, if... please uh, send it our way. Mm -hmm. Yes, I will. absolutely. Thank you on social media. I actually um have a letter already out to you, Alex. So I just gotta find yours, uh, John and Kim's addresses, so I can maybe send something out. To oh, you cool. Here. Yeah, we'll, we'll, get, we'll get that. We'll get to it you. to you. Absolutely. I'm so excited, Bell. My agent told me about that a few days ago. I'm really excited. No way. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was really happy to uh, be able to send something out. It took a long time to get the picture, though, because I was like, yeah. it got stuck at the distrib distribution center for like two oh. Um. So, um, <laughs> the video game actually became really popular upon the release. I just loved playing it so much. I finished it in like not even a week and I'm happy to be able to play it again, especially when I get the Nintendo Switch version. Mm. Um, the story and the gameplay and the graphics uh, were also phenomenal. Um, did you ever expect the game to become such a hit, especially for Marvel fans and gamers? I don't know. I think it was, I think there was a healthy level of uh, cautious optimism on our our parts yeah. i mean it's it's hard because uh at least for myself like i became so attached to and in love with this project i really did like i loved everything but this this project was a a dream come true for me mm -hmm. uh being able to to be a part of a, a marvel franchise and and playing somebody as iconic as star lord um so you know i i want it to be so successful but I, I approached it with some healthy optimism just in case but I have been uh, utterly blown away 
mm. yeah. by the reaction from from the players, the fans, the community. Everybody yeah. has been they've ex, they've exceeded all expectations. Yeah. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm I'm completely blown away, and I'm so grateful for everyone who's who's reached out and with such kind words, and including yourself, Belle. Thank yeah. you. It's yeah. welcome. <laughs> what, what we knew i think while we were working on it one thing that we could hold on to was that we were what was that mean was that we were doing um something new you know a new take on them and and, and i think an original story an original story and yeah. like that idea that idea that we were bringing something that is different that was going to surprise people um that was unique i think that was something where i was hoping and i think we were hoping that it was going to transcend and kind of communicate that and i'm really yeah. really happy that that's what happened you know because it, yeah. it definitely it surprised paid me when i started playing it because i thought it was like the best game i ever played this year that's awesome wow, that's yeah awesome. i think thank you <laughs> i think some like when we obviously like the humor is so inherent to the characters and the, the story and stuff but like to be able, for me, I knew we had something special when, when we were doing um, the, the dramatic scenes mm -hmm. and moving each other to tears. Yeah, yeah. And that, for me, I was like, that's special because we all know that the Guardians are funny. They really are. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But if yeah. we can make you laugh and then make you cry, yeah. now that like that's what I was into and I was like okay yeah we got something yeah. so I was I was actually really excited to to uh to hear um how the fans or the gamers were gonna respond to those scenes the dramatic scenes it is rare for me to be able to laugh and cry at some, about something at the exact same time or the at the exact same thing but lately I definitely got a hit of that <laughs> yeah that's awesome yeah. It's not just a game, but with a movie I just saw recently. I'm like, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I got a couple of fun wrap up uh, questions to wrap up. Uh, yes. There are really amazing songs from the 1980s and earlier in the soundtrack for the game. Uh, which of those songs are your favorites? Oh, man. <laughs> uh, oh. For, for I, me, I really like. Oh, go go ahead, Ken. Go no, ahead. no, no. I was just, I'm pulling up the because my my memory is terrible. Uh, I have a favorite right away. Like I was a huge Billy Idol fan. fan when my, my dad was that was one of the earliest albums he ever got me was Billy Idol. So I remember playing the game and like White Wedding came on and I don't I, and just shooting people like shooting enemies to, to that song. There's just something with that bass. Like I don't know. So for me, it's White Wedding. Like I love that song. Yeah. And everything done by Steve Shepkowski and Johan Boudreaux, the original oh, yeah. Star-Lord album. I mean, I listen to that album like every week. Like it's just it's amazing awesome. that they did that. I was, so, I was yeah. gonna say, can we can we pick a song from the Star-Lord album? Oh yeah, we can do that. Yeah. I love, I love, love, love uh, The Darkness Inside. That's my favorite. Yeah. That is my one. favorite song on the album um, because I think it speaks to, um, that voice inside all of us when we're making a YouTube channel, when we're chasing our dreams of becoming an actor or, or doing something that's outside the box, it really speaks to that voice inside you that tries to shut you down. Mm -hmm. It's that, that weird little devil dude on your shoulder. The inner, like, oh, the, yeah, I, the I inner saboteur. The inner saboteur. My hamster. It's my Your little hamster. hamster. It starts, <laughs> starts running on a wheel. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, nah. I know. <laughs> yeah, the hamster. But that's what that song to me is about. It's about, you know, not listening to the lies that you tell yourself that you can't mm. do it or that you're not mm. good good enough. And you just you just press through and you follow it and you trust yourself that you will be good enough and you are good enough. And that's why I love that song. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Johan. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You got to add that one to my soundtrack, uh, soundtrack list off of iTunes. That one's uh, become something I actually became a fan of while playing the game because I never heard that song before. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. yeah, and it's great. So for um, for gamers who love the uh, soundtrack and the Star-Lord um, band, on Spotify, you can get the whole playlist. And yeah. uh, if you scroll, there's all like the original songs by Steve and Johan. Nice. So it's a great, I just as, play. My, as well uh, as the, uh, the, the soundtrack by Richard Jacks, which we have to also say is, is also fantastic. The original score that you find there. Yeah. Too. 
definitely. It's just a great playlist. Yeah. I just listened to it in the car. Like, Out of all the songs, I only knew four of them uh, from a uh, Star Wars uh, cassette list. Uh, with your kickstart my heart, mm. never gonna get mm-hmm. up. Yeah. Holding out for a hero and hanging tough. <laughs> nice. so kickstart, good. kickstart my heart is is the one that like gets me going. Oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. It's so good. It's just such a great tune. I guess we got to take a thing hanging top on that list because I'm such a new kid on the block fan. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, couple more yeah. questions. We, we're discussing this game and I have the question that I um, think a couple of people want to know if you are, uh, if you are gamers yourself, like you like to play games. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I, oh, yeah. I, I, I am up. not, but I, I feel like I'm, um, uh, vicariously experiencing the game through alex and john via twitch i yeah. uh, i like to i like to uh just watch them play and i think i think john and i, I i'm going to be visiting john soon and i'll be uh going oh live God, on yes. twitch with him yes i'll just be we, sitting next to him the world has been waiting for this guys come on i can't wait i can't wait I'm definitely be such great. a gamer myself i i'm getting into the retro so i'm like Nice. Nintendo consoles and Sega Genesis going on, but I'm also all PlayStation gamers. So I got like games from the first PlayStation cool. up to current. Nice. That's great. Did That's you get great. the uh did you get the Nintendo Switch online pack with the uh NES, Super NES, and N64 classic? Uh uh not yet. Uh in- uh, when I tried to get it, they wanted me to pay for a full year and I didn't want to do that. Yeah, yeah. To, to do the monthly thing. Yep, yeah. that's fair. It's a great way to experience uh, classic games, though, if you're looking for some yeah, of the for uh, sure. I, classic... I even have my original Nintendo 64, so I got that to keep you busy. Oh, that's awesome. I wish <laughs> I had an N64 still. games because of how much they're going for today, but they're still fun to hang out with. And it's crazy. Um, it's crazy how expensive they are secondhand. Oh, my gosh, it's not even funny. I'm, I was trying to track down... Um, games from the evil dead franchise and they want nice for like 50 to 100 bucks yeah they're expensive Woo! oh yeah you think games from back then would be like two bucks by now <laughs> <laughs> um but what kind of games do you like to play when you do play video games um i love rpgs i'm a huge yeah. huge rpg fan i like skyrim i like anything by bethesda a lot of the bethesda games uh but uh kind of like what you're saying i'm actually the n64 was my original console so um i do have a really nice soft spot for nintendo for you know mario super smash bros mario kart oh yeah kind of stuff. see yeah, that's yeah. i grew up playing those games i actually have like an old school mm-hmm. nintendo i like the the racing i like to race that's i like can- horizontal speed <laughs> I, I can remember like a very very early memory uh of my father and me him lying on the ground playing the original nes and me standing like behind him watching him playing the, the original mario brothers wow um, yeah that's that's where i got my start like i i've had probably every almost every nintendo system barring a few of the handheld consoles i'm a big i'm a big nintendo fanboy the mario's uh zelda is one of my favorite uh favorite franchises of all time uh halo's another one halo's mm-hmm. up there i love me some halo uh, guardians of the galaxy duh uh, uh, great i'm game. getting Goes there same. i'm working my way through the eras <laughs> Actually, i got i gotta shout out john because john did an amazing stream on his twitch like Four or five months ago, he played the original Super Mario 64. Yeah. And he played that whole game. And like the amount of people who tuned in, this is just to feel that nostalgia, me included. I mean, that was amazing. And watch me die a lot. Yeah. Because that <laughs> I mean, game is hard. Those games are tough, man. They're they don't make them tough like that anymore. I don't think. They are <laughs> definitely tricky. Yeah. My earliest uh gaming, I had it been about four or five, was PlayStation One games, but on a PlayStation Two. Uh, I started off with one of the Harry Potter games on um, PlayStation nice. One, um, Stuart Little Two, <laughs> Disney, Classic. Part, 
Here's me Tarzan. That was that was, that was the start. I played of that game. Tarzan. I remember was great. Tarzan. Yeah, that was a great game. <laughs> I still have my original copies. I can't believe they're still alive. That was the Bella, one you, you would played, go on uh, the you would go on the vines, right? And you would surf. Yep. Yeah, oh, that was so good. That was a good have game. you played uh have you played The Last of Us or God of War Bell? Oh my gosh, I love The Last of Us. So yeah. good. I so good. Actually, Alex, play. Alex, you were streaming uh the last I was I got on, halfway uh, through on stream, right? Yeah, and then I decided to play Guardians. Uh, Guardians, on stream. Yeah. <laughs> So once once I'm almost done Guardians. Once Guardians is done, uh, I will jump on to uh, finishing Last of Us, and I'm very excited. Hands down, one of the best games I've ever played. Uh, I'm currently playing Max Payne. <laughs> nice. Oh, nice, also a good franchise. Yeah. Or on uh, Uncharted, have you played Uncharted? I love Uncharted. When I got my uh, PlayStation Four, the gift, uh, what was it, 2017? I my, one of my first games that I got was the Uncharted Collection. Amazing. I with that game. Yeah, I got the I got like they had like a three pack of like Uncharted Uncharted yeah. one, two, and three, and then I got the fourth one as well. They're and so then good. The fifth one, the Lost Legacy, with, but without Nathan. Yeah, Drew, but they're still really fun. Yeah, so yeah. good. There hasn't been much games to come out in the last couple of years. Uh, last year because there were. Um, everything getting pushed back because of COVID, but yeah. I feel like revisiting the classics that I grew up with. That's awesome. Oh, absolutely. Well, I had a really great time talking with you guys today. This is definitely by far my favorite interview that I've done. Oh, <laughs> oh thank, thank you. Thank you so much, Belle. Thank you thank so you. much, Belle. Belle, this was awesome. Thank you so much for having us. You're welcome. Yeah. I, will, I will send you guys the link on social media in a couple great. hours or so. Please Amazing. Do. And, Amazing. And don't forget to tag us in that beautiful artwork of yours. We yeah. got to see that. Uh, as soon as I uh, finish it, it could take uh, up to a week or so, depending on how much of what I want to do. And uh, I'll take you. And uh, if you want me to send one to you, I will. That would be incredible. Amazing. Thank you, Belle. <laughs> Thank you, Belle. You're welcome. Bye, Belle. Take it easy. Bye. Bye, Belle. Bye.